I've been asked to do a video on how to do bulk date changes in Canvas. Uh, first of all, I'm sorry for the echo. I'm still getting soundproofing for my uh, home office, so you're actually hearing uh, the, the voice echo and bounce in the room, so I apologize for that. So, again, how do you change Canvas due dates in mass? First things first, log into Canvas. This can work with any Canvas account. I'm using the free Canvas account just for the course that I'm doing. You're going to click on account. You're going to go to settings. And you're going to get a access token. You can uh, give a reason. I'm going to do a change due dates. And give a expiration. This is going to be the access token that is used to access this course. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to throw it in a uh, text doc, make sure it's the same, and it is. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And next, I'm going to go ahead and go to a Google Doc. I'll provide the URL for this file uh, in the description for the video. But essentially, when you get here, someone asked if I would also include how I got there. I literally just look, uh, looked up adjust all assignment dates on one page, hit entered, and the instructions are by this individual. He's the one that actually created the Excel document. Course detailed dates, or course uh, due dates. That loads that Excel document which we had open prior. You need a Google account to access this. All right, first thing I want to do is I want to make a copy. You will not be allowed to do this without making a copy. Keep that in mind. Close the original, because you don't have permission to do this with the original. First things first, file, spreadsheet settings, what time zone are you in? Make sure to set the correct time zone. This affects everything. Click save. As you set the time zone, you'll also notice you get a new button called Canvas. What you're going to do is click on Canvas and you're going to click on Configure API Settings. You need to provide authorization to access your Canvas course. And you also need to make sure you can access your Google account. So click on your Google account. My Google account is separate from the one that I'm at trying to access, which that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and allow it, allow the access. Copy the access token. Copy the website you use to log into Canvas. Click Submit. You may get a few more pop-ups about account access. It's all right, click OK. You should get a successful attempt. So that's half the battle. The next part you need to do is go back to Canvas, go to whatever course you want to migrate dates from. You need the course number. So this will say courses, forward slash, and a number. All variations of Canvas will generate this number. Again, the numbers are unique to your course. Back in the Excel document, Canvas, specify a course. Type in a course number. It will verify what course you're trying to connect, and it will ask if you want to connect. Click yes. Wait. It takes a few minutes for it to populate the assignments. 
You'll notice that it also says up here, script finished, running script, then script finish. Again, you just got to give it a minute and it will populate. If it doesn't auto populate, go back to canvas, click load due dates. I've noticed on some of my courses, uh, selecting the course does it automatically. Sometimes you need to click load due dates. I've had both work. All right, so it took about five minutes for it to actually populate this, but I mean, it did populate it. So you have the due dates, the available, and available until. So you can quickly modify all of the assignments, the due dates, and everything from this console. I want to go ahead and I want to modify the due dates. I want it to, to change everything from September 6, 2020 to September 6, 2021. And there we go. So to make sure that this actually works, again, this I only changed sections in module one. I'm gonna go ahead and save the due dates. Running script. It should be pushing the action items back to canvas. I'm going to pause again while it does its script. All right, now that the script is finished, it will say finished. Log into your canvas course. And you should see the dates have been Modified. I don't know why I chose that one assignment. Let's look at a homework. Available from until September 6, 2021. So it did work. So that's how you can actually bulk change all of your assignments. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and make the corrections to the rest of them just to show that we can do the verification. All right, so I actually got lazy. I used the uh, find and replace, searched for the date, changed the dates that way, but I was able to change all of the dates. So that way you can do this in math quantity and you're no longer having to change 100, 200 assignments one by one. Again, once you have actually went ahead and uh, did it, save, it will run the script, it pushes it back up to canvas and it should be ready to go. All right, script is done running, back into canvas, go back to the course we are looking at. I did a bulk uh, change. So yeah, all of the due dates are now showing the appropriate uh, due dates and the correct year. And it pulled all of that from that document. Questions or concerns, please reach out. Thank you.